game start. <laughs> Howdy, everybody, and welcome to an edition of the Toku Round of Chronicle. I, of course, am kind of a beloved old Lord Real Guy of Thornton here at April 2015, with our enjoyable Flame Boy Fly Flat Guy 98. Coding! Oh, just Uh, we. Uh, we will be joined by our Conan and podcast Mr. Sentai fan, but he's currently a the a the AFK. So, and finally, we're joined by the cat happens to the cat himself, Crunch. Hello, hello, is this thing on? Hello, it is I, Doctor Doofenshmirtz. Now you may be wondering, where is the crunchy person that you just asked for? Well, he's currently tied up because I'm going out to new adventure. It is called my tie up a person from long distance and take over their computer in Ador. I don't think I need to explain what that does. The name just kind of does itself. So here I am crashing this recording because trying to take over the tri-state area was a real drag. That damn platypus just kept messing up all of my plans. So now I'm going to take over the internet via YouTube. Hello! I <laughs> <coughs> uh, was wondering if you'd, if you'd pull that out. <laughs> I can't wait to hear how that actually turned out on recording. <laughs> we, 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 we'll see. N n n not a bad, not a bad, had a pressure, though, and though it was clearly your voice was straining at times. I'm scared. Yeah, no, so yeah. I can do that a lot better if I... I have my voice lowered, so like if I'm kind of like talking like a half regular, half whisper, I can kind of make it work better. But I don't think my microphone's sensitive enough to pick that up. But anyway, hello. <laughs> Figured I'd try to do something a little random for an intro, because why the hell not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, yeah, if Crunch is here, it means it's time for us to us to go back and do do more DMs, MC. Devil may cry. So and now we get, to, and now we get to watch you blow the rust off yourself. <laughs> so, um, full disc disclosure: this really should not have taken so long for us to get get back to. Ew, ew, ew. We first put this off because of the fact that, well, well, due to, I'm going to be blunt here, my incompetence, I did not record, or the. Or part two, who, who, or was it part three? It was part two. We've only, you only have one. Two. You only have one video up on the channel at the moment. Fair, fair, fair. I just just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much botched the record recording for that. So yeah, yeah, I was not keen on the idea of having to redo an entire level. So I decided to wait a little bit, and then we decide how did Twitch sentai the I threw some of the Fate series. And then Two I forgot months. about this game. <laughs> Two I... months later. And then Give I forgot about this game. <laughs> but, you know, some light badgering later, and here we are once again. What the hell? Okay, that's what. Did you break something already? Oh, please do not do this to me. What'd you do, or what's going on? Something's going on with the controller. Did you plug it is in it after not, you... not recognizing your controller at all, or...? I was gonna say, like, did you plug it in after you booted up the game? Uh, I think maybe? this is one of those... Because I think this is one of those old games where you have your controller plugged in first before you turn the game on, so the game recognizes it. I don't know why old, some of the older games do that, but they're weird like that. Yeah. So you might need to reboot your video game. Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, this time make sure the controller is plugged in from the very start. All right, and let me make sure that the screen is aired out of you guys. <clears throat> All right.
Okay, good. Now it's working properly. Deep voices. <laughs> what, what happened before, it was doing this weird thing where basically, like, wouldn't recognize the input, so it just kept going up. Yeah, like oh. I said, it, like I said, it's one of those games where it's one of so... those games. <clears throat> Technically, you have to go back, so... Yes, yeah. go to mission, go to the Devil Hunter setting. And then you pick... Uh... I think it was six? It's five no. or six? No, I... Th See, now I'm actually trying to remember how many freaking missions did you do last time? Because you have more progress than I thought. Did you do, like, three each, I think? I think... So, you'd be on... Oh, yeah. Four. four, yeah. That sounds about right. Alright. Here we go. So, yeah, since he is doing a re-recording, he is going to have a few toys at his disposal that he wouldn't normally have at this point, but... Whatever. This is one of those games that they make you, that is built off of replaying things with new tricks anyway, so it fits. Yep. They're aware of you now, Dante. So stay low. Lundis doesn't know I exist, so I'll remain hidden until we're ready to strike. Cat knows the virility factors. What lies beneath? I've been seeking. She will be your guide. He doesn't know that I've been tra training a, a bunch of kids. It's it's kung fu. Shh. Uh, security camera demon. That's new. <clears throat> well, you know, I both get the best resolutions for cameras. <laughs> also, the main, yeah, the main new thing that you'll notice that DL has is the sight. Well, scythe, axe, and I think you actually did kill the, uh... Yeah, you did kill that boss. Uh... Ah. Uh, yeah, so I have the gauntlets, too. Yes. If you hit right on your D-pad, you'll act... You should, uh, be able to access them. I think. Okay, no, it's not letting you use them just yet. I forgot. They kind of tutor have to tutorial you with them first in the, uh... Next level, or the uh, level after the at boss fight. Oh, oh wait, no, wait. there you go. There you go. You're just hitting the wrong button. But yes, he has punchy gauntlets, and you're about to get smacked. As I said, it's time for him to get the rust off, because it's literally been, like, two, three months. Also, who does Dante think he is Batman with that grappling hook? Also, also, I have to make this joke. Grappling hook! <laughs> of course. What? The joke wasn't that bad. I was trying to remember if that's a Gravity Falls reference or just something else I don't know. That was a Gravity it, Falls it reference, Gravity yeah. Rolls. Oh, look, one reference I actually get for once.
Oh, hey, there's the axe. Yeah, I swapped it out. Ah. Yeah, that's one nice thing with this game is that all of your toys you can access it to uh, once. Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's hard red crystals like that you smash with your gauntlets. Argent. Or you know, just a fancy way of saying silver. Ah. I was going to say, do you get anything from freaking us? And, oh. So you collect the keys to open doors. The doors have secret missions behind them. And then if you can clear the secret missions, you get uh, fragments of uh, health upgrades. So it's kind of worth it to do the secret missions. It's just some of them are like tests of skill that uh, you need to actually know how to clear them. Some of them are admittedly quite annoying. I won't uh, deny that. There's a few that well, took me many, many tries to clear them. Out of the franchise, so. Oh hey, oh hey, it's uh, skip, it skip past the like uh, introductions for the enemy since I've been here before. Yeah, which is one nice little uh, touch. Yeah, it is. Okay, honestly, side seems to be the better secondary weapon. The axe is too yeah, The axe is too slow. Well, that they're designed that way on purpose. The demon weapons are designed to be heavy hitting and also guard breaking, as there are enemies that run around with shields and you use ah. the axe and or gauntlets to break them. And then the scythe is meant for rapid uh, crowd control style attacks. But each has its use, so. Plus it's always nice to mix it up and uh, vary the combos. Although I will say, out of the demon weapons, I do tend to prefer the, uh, or favor the gauntlets a little more, just because punchy power. Yep. We don't have enough for any of those, so... No, he does have an upgrade point for one of his abilities or weapons. Ah. Oh. Arbiter, Osiris, and Eryx. Yep. The mm. axe, the scythe, and the gauntlets, respectively. Ah. There we go. Take a try.
no, you can't hit them with the axe. No, because he's blue. Oh, right, I remember now. <laughs> One of the mechanics that made a lot of people scratch their heads when this game came out. Jeez, I am really low on health. Ah! Not as much help as I'd like, but I'll take it. Okay, right now I I definitely need a need a need a vital need a vital star. Yeah, you definitely need it. Okay, that's more that that's more like it. That's I'm more comfortable. Well now. Shooting those does nothing. You have to hit them with your blade. Seriously? Well, how do I get over there, then? You boost jump over to it and then start smacking it with your sword. Not like that. Uh, no, not like that. <laughs> okay, come on. Ah, crap! I don't like that either. <laughs> need to waste too much time with that. You don't really get much out of uh, collecting those anyway. Ah, fuck it. All right, let's... 
That's more of a if you want to deep dive and be a uh, completionist kind of thing. Okay, that's helpful. If they actually tell you which weapon you need to destroy like doors. I think you did that already. Did I? I feel like you did. If you hit start, you can just uh, exit out of it. Sorry about that, guys. My my laptop froze. Oh yay, PC problems. Yeah. Am I have range? Yeah, I think for that one you have to like jump from up there and then uh, glide over to it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Spray paint spells. It's a staircase. There we go. Never-ending struggle of trying to hit floating uh, bags of orbs. <laughs> ah, freaking those two. Yeah, that's, that's all that's in that room anyway. Achievement. I can't believe it's just for getting a hundred kills. Oh, hang on. Ah. Uh, that's not what it was. It was just a, you know, welcome. She said it was something about logging in and getting your grandmother. What? I didn't see that on the letter. 
It just said, and welcomed. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just cut away to a quick screen of that uh, with intermission music. <laughs> Those are the shield that the bastards need the uh, heavy artillery for. Also, is this the only game in the franchise that also has a point system for the rating? No, the others all have uh -huh. it. It's The others all have it. It's just, I think, starting with DMC4... They didn't really display them as uh, openly. Ah. So I think like with the first two, they just kind of like showed your letter grade as you were fighting, and then it would just like arbitrarily raise up as you were as you uh, accrue more style points. And then DMC three introduced having a meter under it that would drain as your style as uh, your style would uh, drop. And then DMC4 started actually showing the uh, point values. Ah. Okay, now where do I go? Or rather, I should say DMC4 would show you your point totals that you had. But it wouldn't uh, show you, like, the individual points that you would accrue as you... I think uh, you're for attack. To go... Like... If you can go back to the archway. Yeah. Yeah, that way. Now the world's trying God, to kill you again. Suddenly, you were in a church. I'm considering how wild and wacky the world is when it's uh, moving around. Yeah. Now let's deal with you, deal with you fucker. <laughs> ah! Oh, they cool. freeze you! Yes, those guys do freeze you indeed. They're called Frost Knights for a reason. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Shit. oh, shit, that was cool. Read a record. Yeah, that's back. one of the uh, okay. things that having that using prop will do. It tends uh, to parry stuff, and apparently it can parry that. I actually didn't know it could do that. I've seen it parry other things, but I've never seen it parry the ice stream. I could, usually, I just dodge around that. Oh,
Ah, damn it! Fuck you! There. He's a big one. Get in my belly! I feel like you made that joke last time, too. Then again, that was like months ago, so I don't even remember. Just sounds right. Intermission music. I don't think anyone cares if you hear about your own life. <laughs> There's no context. Of course, it's the window. I am ah! What the fuck? I am running, and I am also doing the falling. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> can you not dash to that platform? He can, he's just aiming wrong. Oh. Okay. Oof, there goes the tower. The police have released footage of the terrorists responsible for the recent attacks at St. Andreas' church. It goes by the name of Dante. Remember his face, people. If you see him, Inform the police immediately, but do not approach him. He has a history of physical violence and is a known sexual deviant. This is Bob Barnes, just doing God's work. So, now then, uh, mission five. Also, let's check to see if we're still recording. We are. Succubus. I believe it's the source of the psychotropic ingredients. That's what they use to control us. Welcome to the Virility Factory. Virility's secret ingredient is what makes Virility the number one soft drink in the world. And best of all, I don't know why you would want to make your mascot a slug, but you know. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. 
See, they missed a good joke by just, instead of just making it 69%. Exactly. It's still kind of a shame we never got to see the uh, Insane Asylum version that uh, the old TGS trailer advertised. Someone got too comfy and put the controller down. This way, I think. You said you've been here before. Yes, but it was during an out-of-body experience years ago. And flying around in spirit form. Yeah, in limbo. Virgil says it could be an effective intelligence gathering tool, but I can't do it at will. So, how did you do it before? It was triggered by extreme psychosomatic trauma. Nightmares. What are the nightmares? It's impossible. I would imagine it'd be horrible. Also, also, people, it does not matter what route you take, take on and sleep, because they all lead back to the proper or, or direction, so don't bother trying to find any sort of like secret pathways or whatever while you're following Link Cat. There are none. He learned that one the hard way. Yes. Interesting means of finding an escape, but eh. Oh, let's be fair here. People have their own ways of trying to escape. Video games, games, novels, USB. He drives a turkey with the into psychopathic monsters. I mean, what? Because, <laughs> of course, you had to bring that up. I mean, given the recent anime, hey, Crunchy, can you blame me for having that on the mind? Yeah, I have one complaint here. She moves too slow. You don't have to stay behind her. You can stay ahead of her. Oh. She'll eventually reach her destination regardless. Fair enough. <laughs> You're just too impatient is your problem.
figure here in limbo. What next? Head back to the mixing room. I'll meet you there. Obesity, stupidity, drink virility. Platforming. Platforming and ah! falling off. <laughs> Sink? Huh? Do the platforms sink? Not really, no. There's no, no, like, there's no platforms that are just gonna, like, fall out from under you. It's just. It kind of looks that way. It's because they're floating in midair. Ow. So they're kind of just, like, they're sort of bobbing up and down a little bit, but they're not gonna, like, just drop out from under you or whatever. Right. Thankfully. I mean, this game may have Capcom's uh, logo on it, but it doesn't have any of their evil Mega Man style tricks. Four! Okay, so I was supposed to do that before grappling across. Good to know. Ah, god damn it! Okay, that's just you canceling out your own uh, your boost. There we go. Remember, is this a fire knight or a hell knight? I think they're officially called hell knights, but basically they have fire. Yes, hence the burning. Because that's what they do to the floor. The floor is lava! Yep. More or less. Not entirely inaccurate. And if you're holding one of your demon weapons, it actually doesn't hurt you. So, it's kind of a defense against it, but, you know. And here's why the- here's the bitch! And here comes more. And another big guy. I think they're actually called Tyrants, if I remember correctly. I think that's their official name. Wait, there's friendly fire? For them, yes. Technically speaking. I know like with the little flying guys that pelt grenades all over the place, you can actually uh, yank enemies into the explosion radius and it will hurt them. Remind me of what the Titan bosses from Arkham Asylum. Of how they charge forward and stuff. Yeah, yeah I can see how that. They just charge forward and run to the walls. Um, like with the Titan bosses, ramp making them run into bosses does or that making them run into walls doesn't really do much to them. Yeah, so the whole point is just to. Has to expose their back so you can and grapple them yeah, and, I know. and knock them 
I'm on the ground. I know. Just. I mean, you don't even need. Just reminds me of those spots. I mean, you don't even need to let them hit the wall for them to expose this, uh, their back. Literally, just get behind them. You can just grab it and uh, smack them. How do I fucking get up there? Hey, is your crew probably supposed to be able to get that health? What the fuck? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Watching you trying to air control him is probably one of the funniest things I think I've ever seen. Already har har. Well, considering that this Dante is probably one of the easiest to air control in the franchise. <laughs> okay, items. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, but the platforming controls in this one are the best in the series. Well, 5 actually may have that beat now, but I'd still make an argument for this one. And you probably won't see five for like 20 years, so you know. <laughs> I'll save up on the up on the points for now. What the what the hell? Why 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 did I not keep trigger my guns? Oh god damn it! Use the wrong button, Jesus. <laughs> uh, there's your answer. Okay. You didn't have them equipped. No, I just wasn't hitting the shoot button. Yeah. Uh. Nope, not gonna risk it. Oh, hello there. Nothing? No. Huh? I'm trying to see if there's anything in, in up here. Here before. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there is something. In up here. Oh! There's also that. That did not work. <laughs> Wait, I think I figured. I think I, I figured out how I was supposed to get over there. A little bit roundabout, but. Oh yeah. The... Oh, 
Oh, I see. Nice if you could lock on to these. Well, they're not enemies, so you wouldn't lock on to them anyway. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay, so how do I get to where, where that was? Silver key. Oh. Now you just need to find the silver door to put it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. No! End of the hole. <laughs> okay, so how do we get over there? Because there's clearly a space where I can use Osiris, so... Hmm... But you like the solution. Yeah. Just give me a... Yeah. Huh? Sorry. Just give it to me straight, Crunch. Can I do it now, or do I have to come back later? That is a come back later when you have something else. Because you cannot do anything with that right now. All right. As entertaining as it was watching you trying to work your brain muscle, uh, yeah, you can't do anything with that. <laughs> oh, God damn I'll say it. you've been frozen. Oh, whoops. Oh, 
Oh, I love that announcer. <laughs> like he only ever pipes up during the S ranks, but I love the way he says them. Just a little, little bit of spice, because why not? Yep. I don't remember if we've been here. Did I just completely murder that guy? I I before he could even see me. Probably. See you guys um whenever. Wait, did I Oh, what sense I have to go? This is D and D session. Oh right, I forgot about that. Yeah. He's gonna go roll dice and try to not get himself killed. Okay. Okay, good. Hmm. Is he a large metal star since you're about to die? Probably. Probably best, yeah.
You have now reached your destination. Well, we can definitely tell which weapon's your favorite. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I honestly prefer using the like using the axe. It's at while slow, it slow it deals deals a good amount of damage to the, to these fuckers, and more importantly, rips them them a, them a new one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I remember now. You have to fight two of these things. Into the hole. There we go. Ah! There we go. Congratulations. You win. Dante. You okay? That looked pretty nasty. That? Nah. That was just a big fat joke. Come on. Let's get this succubus. And here we go. Final mission for and for this part. I think that's the first S rank you've gotten. I believe you're right. Well, they do go higher. Well, obviously, if you go higher, you go up to triple S. Yep. I know. There's actually an achievement for completing the Nephilim difficulty with all triple S's. Wow. 
can only get there from limbo. I can't follow. Well, what helps with that one is that makes it a little bit easier is if you've actually gone and collected everything in levels because they give you like an automatic, I think like times seven or something to your end score. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And then doing finishing levels quickly, aka once you know where you're going and all that, it helps a lot as well for that. Right. I think typically if you can get about, or if you can get like, Two out of three on the triple uh, S setting, you can you can usually get a triple S every time, but there are a few occasions where that doesn't seem to oh, be the yay. case. Oh yeah! God damn it! Limit. It's actually a pretty generous time limit. It is. And in we go. Oh, what a stink. Oh, yes, we are about after the reach the boss fight. Wait, that's literally all this mission is? Wow. Well, for yeah. the most part. I believe there's also a secret mission on this level as well, and then there are like a few collectibles here and there. But yeah, more or less it's just that descent and then the boss fight. Which I'm pretty sure I mentioned it on the uh, Lost recording, but there is an achievement for clearing that hallway before uh, time runs out. AKA killing every enemy that's in that hallway as you're going through it, which on the lower difficulties, the timer is actually generous enough. You could do it. Yeah, two minutes. That's... And with enemies not having that much health, you could get away with doing it on like human or something. Or just wait for like heaven and hell mode because then you could just shoot everything in one hit. <laughs> Watcher. It is quite generous to give you a divinity statue right before the boss. I will give you the game that. Even the original series does that. Most boss fights will have uh, some kind of statue yeah, the, in front yeah, of them. Yeah, the, yeah, there's a secret mission. I remember that uh wasn't able to do that one. I wasn't uh, didn't quite do well on that one last time. I don't even remember which one that is, but yeah, probably not. I don't really, really care, so let's just let's get going. Besides. Again, challenge mode in the main story, yeah. I mean, they've all had that before. I know, but I know they all do. They're just tests of skill, basically designed to uh, yeah. do exactly that. So. I know. Prime day, you ugly 
sack of shit. I will admit, despite how angsty he's characterized, I do like Dante's character. Yeah, that is one thing that's kind of nice, is that while his taunts are not exactly the most creative of things, just the fact that he is still kind of a snarky bastard is kind of funny. I mean, he does have a few decent one-liners here and there. Okay, now how do I... Oh, right. Oh, there we go. Rap one is up. There we go. Jeez, you do not know when to quit!
And this is where you originally get the gauntlet. Too close, a little too close. I think Mundus is a little bit angry. Ah, you don't say. Yeah. Double Ooh, S. Double S. Nice. And that will pretty much do it for this session. Whoosh. Yeah. Well, it wasn't as bad as, as the second time around. Yeah, I don't think you actually died this time. I'm pretty sure the last time you died, like, twice. Yeah. No, I died a couple times. Well, no, no, I, I didn't like, like actually, like, like I lost health plenty of times, but I didn't actually. Yeah, die. Well, you didn't actually die. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Last time he actually died, died. Yeah. Or at least got knocked down to the point of needing gold ores, which I count as a death. Huh. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for this edition, and of and of the Toke Around the Chronicle. It's time for the sign-offs. Go. I have been your Flamboyant and Flare Flare Green Eighty Eight saying "Sorry, on flyers." And I have been the chaotic one, Captain saying, uh, "Watch out for Doofenshmirtz. He may appear at random." <laughs> <laughs> I need to get better at doing that voice just so I can maintain it longer. <laughs> Good luck with that. <clears throat> Any, anyway, and I, of course, have been your kind of beloved overlord, Rue God, extraordinary and evil queen, team, reminding you of them just a passing through a Toku fan. Remember that. Oh. And and uh, word to the wise, wise folks. If always, we make sure you know exactly what you're what you're drinking when it comes to the soda. Uh, you might secretly be drinking the weird juices of a, the fucking a weird ass succubus. Well I mean considering one of you well I mean considering one of your kings, you would be happy with that. <laughs> ah, funny. <laughs> Albedo simp. Anyway, that, anyway. Have a good night, folks. Take care. We'll see you all next time. Uh, we might, have, we'll uh, def, we might, we'll be doing another, uh, we might be doing another session of uh, this uh, again this week. We depends on what happens. But we also have something in, in plan coming up over on the on the roundups. Up since I'm gonna be Easter, our classes with K, U, KSU soon. So look forward to that. Anyway. Have a good night. Hi, folks. Take care. We'll see you all next time. Bye!